Mike for I situation. Hope so. Is yes, it is good. Okay. So the Itch Awards, the 2016 inaugural Game Kiwi Itch Io Awards. What are the Itch Awards, Mikey? So we picked the free games. This is the free Itch.io Awards. Mm-hmm. They cannot be charged for games. Pay what right. you want we picked... is available. That's fine, as long as you can get it for zero. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we picked the ones we thought looked most interesting to us. Mm-hmm. Top five and of them. We Top five. And we are going to play them, and you guys are going to decide, or help us decide. We get we'll get a vote too, but you guys go first. Mm-hmm. There will be a straw poll. Which which one is the best? Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna I say now, go... the volume huh? on these probably gonna be rough as fuck. Yeah. Because itch games. But yeah, here we go. Have I got a Twitch chat open somewhere? There we go. Probably don't want... And the winner will get an email open. from Game Kiwi mm -hmm. saying that they won the first annual Game Kiwi Best Free Itch.io Award. And, uh, you know what, I'm also just going to quickly update mine now playing. Huge honor. Yeah. The only honor, you could say, in the uh, field of Itch.io. And these itch.io games aren't going to be in there, but there is a game called Itch with an exclamation point. Hmm. So okay. that's what we're playing. First up, Mr. Robot. AMC's Mr. Robot. That's right. Oh, shit. What? This is loud. Oh, why did I take my cup off? I can't hear it. God, that was deafening. Alright, press start or Z. It seems no one else could hear it either. Oh, hmm. no. Everyone else got woke up. Yep. I read it wrong. And also, I'm, I'm definitely going to be playing more t-shirt game later this week. Oh yeah, don't blame you. That is a pretty good game. So I think you want to walk over all these lights. Yeah, I think that's what I do want to do. Is that the sole goal? I'm not sure. Okay. But I gotta the say, this is... is... The green things are sealed. Mm -hmm. This is this perfectly light. recreating the uh, atmosphere and the mood that AMC's Mr. Robot is going for. Oh shit, I died. There is intense fall damage in this. But uh, yeah, I would say this is a perfect recreation of. Oh the geez, TV show. yeah, that's some fall damage, buddy. Hmm. You can almost feel Rami Ishmael's acting in this protagonist here. You can see the inspiration, where they're getting it from. Can, the Fight Club plot is really just bleeding out from the seams. Hopefully I can finish a single level. Because this game is not good enough to play for longer than 3 or 4 minutes. Yeah, this game doesn't seem great. <laughs> Did you pick this one only because of the name? Yes. Entirely because yeah. of the name. It might get better though. Do you, do you really think it does? Nope. Oh, you're gonna complete the level. Oh, sh how many lives? Ooh, this oh, I only have one more level. harder very quickly. Mhm. Mm well, it looks harder. It isn't actually harder. Oh, sh oh, it is harder. <laughs> Could you not jump off that thing? Is the fall damage that bad? Um, I don't fucked up, Mikey. I'm going to continue. I'm going to commit to completing four levels this game. That's a lot of levels. 
I'm not sure how many it has. That's a good point. Olives, I feel like I accidentally turned off the music at the beginning of the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep doing that same thing. Yep, fuck it. This game's over. That's it's done. I can't continue playing Mr. Robot. Yeah, camera anymore, so you don't need to you don't need to be pretty for the camera. Alright. Next up we have Shiafi and Fagoli. I have played this game before. I think it's quite snazzy. Plays like shit. But it's got style. Dog is just a rag doll making it very difficult to take his hoodie off. Oh yeah. Here we are. We're here guys. I should add that I have not played any of my Atreo games. I need to turn that down right away. Fucking hell. You know what? I'm just gonna have a volume meter off to the side prepared for me. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to restart the game, because the opening theme, if I just leave it on there for a while, you can you can feel that right there. Uh, this one is called Shiafi and Fagoli. Uh, Fagioli. It's an Italian game, which reminds me I should also definitely check the um, options quickly. Hey, it's a me. Oh yeah, listen to this. Oh, it's a style. Listen to this theme. Listen to a little, little electric guitar in the background, man. All right. Yeah, that is. I think that is why this is called Chiaffi and Fagioli uh, Olives. It's a reference to an Italian... Sorry, I just want to listen to this a bit more. Reference to an Italian Western. A spaghetti Western. Mm-hmm. And then it loops. Alright. Here we go. Man, Italians just make good movies. They make good horror movies, too. Here we go. These are our protagonists. These two guys. I'll move the mouse out of the screen for you guys. And by the way, I, I don't approve of the language in this game. I'm going to say that now. Now, P, this did say it was a demo. Does that count as a free game? Um, It was part of a game jam, I believe. But yes, it does. Oh, I can throw guys. And if you're wondering, I'm controlling both of these guys. I don't know why. It's like the world ends with you. Mm hmm. And now the game's about to get real. Yeah, the. Get going, music. You got more to say? Drink, old man, drink. So this is like a beat em up. I don't know how long this game goes for. And I think the case with the music in this is that it is just translated badly. And now we've got to go in here, and we've got to mash buttons. 
We're gonna throw all these guys out the building. Get out the building, guys. Always is a tough critic. Hmm. See if I can pick up any of these. Oh, I can. Oh, you can eat them. Okay. And now comes to the bit that is the furthest I've gotten. Oh yeah, by the way, there's the DeLorean. Um, so this is canon to Back to the Future. By the way, I'm not in control of the progression of the text. You realize soon why I've never gotten past this bit. I don't know how to. <laughs> I'm not sure that will get chosen for a box for a I know the arrow says go that way, but I think I have to keep this guy on the roof. And he's throwing dynamite where I can't actually reach it. He's been a dick. Oh, did I get him? It seems like it sucks. Mm -hmm. it, it does. The controls don't quite know how the picking up works. It's kind of arbitrary. But we get to listen to this guitar whoop. Isn't it sick? <laughs> oh, did I get him? Did I get him? Nope. Yeah, maybe this is demo gating. It might be. Anyway, I think that's enough of this game. Next up is... Let me find out what one I've got next. We'll go for Shinkendo. I don't know if this will play in full screen. If not, I'll try and do... No, nah, it doesn't, does it? Alright, so what I'm going to do... Hmm, can I? Nope. Hmm, okay, well we'll have to make, to do, have to make do with this. Unless... Um... Why not capture? Add. Window capture. Okay. <sighs> okay. We stretch this out a bit. There we go. Shinkendo. What is Shinkendo? Sword fighting game. Very well. Oh, I'm very, I'm very critical of this one. So you have. Three moves? What, four? And I'm just going to click quickly click do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's meant to be. Well, that... That attack from the bottom is not a viable Kendo move. Mm-hmm. 
That's the same for any of the point zones. But this isn't this isn't kendo, Mikey. This isn't sport. This is murder. Oh yeah, this is the guy it's who's super aggressive. Green. I forgot about this guy. It's not going for any real vital. Either. He doesn't be good for murder either. These guys, these guys are just here for revenge and murder, Mikey. Please, respect their revenge and murder. I don't know, this one's that great. You don't like Shinkendo? It's simple, inaccurate. It's not about Kendo. It's about revenge. It's See how far I can get in this, by the way. I usually await Olive's review. Mm hmm. We need to see what his rating is. The boss needs to weigh in here. I like the cloud effects on the moon. The gameplay, by the way, is more challenging than it appears. Like, um, you, there is a, quite a bit of timing to this. And it is super responsive, it isn't laggy or anything like that. You've got to commit to your actions. For example, if you start a, a swing, you definitely can't stop it in mid to block. And there we go. I think, I think that'll be enough Shinkendo for now. But I quite like that game. Olives, I think the depth that you're looking for in these games you're never going to find. Because it is ultimately the itch awards. Okay. So. Next up. Let's go for... Norman Sky. Hmm. Oh dear. Mm hmm. I mean, it's going to be better than the game it drew its name from. So, I think this actually came out before No Man's Sky did. Before it but gets no proved to be a massive disappointment. Mm hmm. Before Sean Murray lied. <laughs> oh God. Actually, no, it was after, it's still after he lied. Yeah, it's still after the wide. So here we are. We're in a spaceship. It looks like shit. Maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna... Hmm. Oh, there we go. See if I can make it until four without an energy drink. Maybe five. I don't know if there's actually anything you can go to in this game. I'm gonna try. I don't want to use an energy drink as a crutch. I want to use it as a shot of epinephrine right into my heart. Ooh, now you're cruising. Mm-hmm. See if you can't really tell when there's nothing on the horizon. I think that may have just been an ocean planet. Oh, we're really booking now. I can see stars going right past me. So far this seems better than No Man's Sky. The ship feels a bit better. Put that on the box. Better than No Man's Sky. 
No, just, just the quote, the ship feels a bit better. I don't remember if there were any more controls to this game. But I'm going to see if we can get towards one of these stars here. <laughs> I'll love to review for this. I wish I was deaf, but I think I am blind. It could be worse. Oh, were you just sacked out for some reason? So, I originally had like, um, four visual novels lined up for this. Then I realized I don't have all the time in the world to just play visual novels for this. No. Each of them are like about three hours long. I'm disappointed I put one of them mm. down. One of them was a Victorian period romance. I, I should have picked that one back up. Let's go see what's going on with this big white bulb in the sky. I'm right yeah, on top of it now. Where we are in the giant bomb, in giant bomb standings. Number one, we're the best. Can't we're do better than us. One. We're number seven. Lucky number seven. How far are we from the next best? We'll check that next. Less than $24. Ooh. $23.40. I am uncertain if and these are objects that I can actually reach. Yeah. And theirs is already done, so they're unlikely to take it, overtake us again. Nice. Get fucked. Rival charity guys. We can beat you. And this guy above that, he's not changed the page, so I couldn't tell you. And there we go. And then we're right under no goblin. And I don't think we're well, I don't think we're gonna pass. Oh. Actually, has no goblin gone yet? Yeah, they I think they did that, didn't they? No, they're November, they're November 5th, so oh, okay. we're not going to pass no goblin. Anyway, I think I think Norman Sky is now Norman Sky. It's officially taken the title for sure. But I don't actually know how to quit out of this game. I'll just do this. There we go. And now, for the last AP submission to the Itch Awards. Are you Intelligent only doing four? Design. Nope. That was my fourth. Really? I Mr. missed Voba. one then, I guess. Mr. Robot, Shiafi and Fagioli, uh -huh. Shinkendo, okay. Norman Sky, and now okay. for the fifth. Oh, shit. I forgot all about the first one, which mm -hmm. is maybe not good for that first one. Yeah. This is the one I was most impressed with. Just because people know, at least. You've seen me mention before, possibly, in the Discord, a game called... In fact, I'll show you it here. Grid World. Yeah. Which is just like a sort of survival simulator sort of thing. Uh-huh. Where you set a world off and let it, let it go. I think this is the game. Yep, this is the game. That is incredibly similar to that. And it might run like it's shit just a because simulator CPU. Thing? it is, but it looks far nicer than anything else available right now. So we're gonna go into Cubicle 384. We're gonna start a new game. And this one takes some time. 
For Congratulations on your appointment as an extraterrestrial ecosystem engineer. We have a long history of sector leading technology and world transforming solutions and are committed she to can be a bit quieter. This position. We encourage you to this success as a valued and enthusiastic workforce, which you are now a part of. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start dropping some random plants. Is this an Can idle game? Some... It is kind of an idle game, eventually. Well, that's how all idle games start. Like, you can idle with it. I don't remember how to descend. And I just clicked out of the window. There we go. There's ascend. Alright, so... These little things down here... Ooh. They are my herbivores. These green blobs, they're the plants. The plants will grow and interact with each other, and uh, the herbivores will obviously eat the plants. I should probably have shit tons more plants than I currently have. For what it's worth. So I'm gonna, until the game slows to a halt, drop shitloads of plants. This camera seems not great. Oh, the camera is something, is an angle I'm picking. It seems like it's like controlled by fast though. Uh it's really not. Like I'm I'm doing basically it's doing basically what I want it to do. Okay. Seems pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um all your plants and stuff like that. They slowly grow. They all look a bit like cactuses. But I think they do eventually change how they appear. As you start interacting with each other a bit more. And, uh, you know, changing up variants. So the herbivores, they will eat the plants, and uh, they'll mate. Uh, grow herbivores with slightly, or reproduce herbivores with mixed traits between the two, because random plants have random properties to them. Some will grow faster, some will prefer light and stuff like that. And uh, the herbivores, obviously the same thing. Carnivores, way less likely to survive. But uh, you can also drop them in. Where'd that carnivore go? Oh, there they are. Oh god. Slow down. By the way, the slow down you don't experience um, when you play the game. It's because I am streaming it at the same time. It's a CPU intensive game and so is OBS. And uh, basically, you put down collectors. What do collectors do? They collect uh, nutrients from the uh, plants around them. By the way, I should toggle the force field. How do I toggle the force field? There we go. Got a force field turned on. Nothing can get out of those bounds right now. And this basically collects some uh, power from all of the plants around here and all the living things. And um, you'll use that to then spend on research centers and radars. Insufficient biomass. I have actually got insufficient biomass, as the lady says. So probably just drop a shit some more plants around. That would really help. So yeah, basically you're just trying to grow a little ecology over here. And uh, growing the ecology turns into something of an idle game. Something of an idle game. It's not precisely one. As you're using your collectors to build up stuff to plop down research stations. And uh, then you can get rid of the orient orientation. I believe there is... Yeah, you can create plants with stuff like selected genes and so on and so forth. And you can go into science. Eventually you unlock stuff. 
I've never really unlocked stuff. Because I tend to keep on start and go for this game. But, uh, yeah, there's stuff in here that you can fuck with. It's basically a much more um, modern and robust looking grid world. Which I find quite impressive. It's pretty cool. Hmm. It's also a pretty fucking cool screensaver. As far as screensavers go. I'm surprised that my 152 herbivores are surviving here. Look at the little oh shit. Look at these little guys go. Look at them go. This poor guy here is trapped on the wrong side of the force field. He's fucked. But these ones, they're good to go. And hopefully they're intelligent enough to be able to see, smell, and find the food. And basically it'll keep the ones that have, the ones obviously that survive will be the ones with traits that allow them to go to the food, eat it. I believe there's also things like pollination in this, so certain herbivores will pass the pollen from plant to plant and crossbreed them. There's a lot of cool things going on in this game, a lot of cool little systems. I am super impressed with it. As far as uh, evolution games go, this is the one that's impressed me the most. Unfortunately, I think at this point it might be abandoned. I'm not sure when the last update was. But this is Intelligent Design. And this is my it's fifth submission. Hmm. Fifth submission for the Itch Awards. And uh, let's exit. There we go. Okay, tell me when you're ready to hand over that stream. Oh yeah, uh, for those who are wondering, the f uh, the three cubicles have slightly different properties to them, different shapes, different light, and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm going to pass over to Mikey now.